Good morning, my name is Chris Good. I'm the Network Operations Manager for Dunlap Industries. Today I'll be walking you through how to reprogram your IP8662 telephone to point to our new IP addresses, which took effect on Thursday of last week, April 7th, 2011. More than likely what your phone is doing is running through a series of identification screens and it is failing to connect to the phone switch here in Saudi. What we need to do is we need to repoint it to the proper IP. The way to do this, first take the network cable that plugs in, provides power, and unplug it. It should, un should power off your phone and put it into a standby state. What we're going to do is we're going to take this network plug, plug it back into the port while we hold down the 7 and 8 keys. What this will do is it will kick the phone into a programming state which will allow us to reprogram the IP. So we will do that now. As you can see, your phone will light up. And in a moment it will show you the model number and version of the operating system. Continue to hold down the 7 and 8 button until you see the programming menu. We want to tell it to program the database. Static IP, unless your phone has been assigned a static IP, this does not matter to us. Neither does the default subnet or the default gateway. All we're concerned about is the remote IPC IP. And for this, we're going to put in 068169.0.0. One seven two one nine one. This will also be inclu included in the notes for this video in case you, in case I ran through this too quickly for you. We're going to hit the arrow for the next button. We're not going to change the UDP port or the TCP port or the password. Please don't touch the password on the phone. TFTP server doesn't matter to us. Again, unless your phone had an, a static IP assigned, we want to accept all the rest of these settings as they, as they are. Zero for the VLAN, zero for the other VLAN. We're going to tell it yes to accept the changes and press any button to reboot the phone. What the phone is going to do now is it's going to run through its boot process. It should uh, obtain an IP address from your local network there and then try to reconnect to the phone switch here in Saudi. As you can see, it's obtained an IP address from our server. It's finding the switch. And in a moment, you will see the rest of the menu come up. This indicates that your phone has successfully connected to the phone switch here in Saudi, and you should be good to go. If you have any questions, feel free to call me at extension 7338 or via email at chris.good, that's G-O-O-D-E, at dunlapworld.com. Have a nice day.